A city in crisis. Tensions remain high, but the streets in Baltimore were quiet overnight. And as we wait for more details about Freddie Gray's arrest, the focus in the city turns to trying to restore peace there. Sam Sweetie, live in Baltimore for us this morning with how the mood is there right now. Sam? Andre, good morning. Things have pretty much returned back to normal here. Police on every corner at North Avenue and Pennsylvania Avenue where those riots first broke out here on Monday. Simply acting as a calming presence, but you can feel the tension and the frustration from the locals here who were not involved in those riots. They're tired that the subway here is still closed. The buses aren't stopping in this neighborhood. But as far as the uh, protesters and riots go, everything clear this morning. You'd almost never know that anything happened here. All the trash, the glass has been cleaned out of the street. Now happening today in city government, the mayor will uh, is getting the message out that they will not be releasing that Freddie Gray report. They will only be releasing that to the state attorney's office who will decide if they will press charges, if they decide that there is enough evidence against these six Baltimore police officers, it would then go to a grand, an indictment and a grand jury uh, who would then uh, decide the future and the fate of those six Baltimore police officers. Now coming up later on this afternoon, civil rights leaders from across the nation will converge on in Baltimore and they will meet with city government to determine how the police here can form a relationship with the community and make that act as a model for the entire nation. Some of those people include Reverend Al Sharpton and the president of the NAACP. Again, that meeting kicks off at 1.30. Reporting live in Baltimore this morning, I'm Sam Sweeney, News Channel 8.